Hello, and welcome to the Day in Life demo series for Infor Cloud Suite Distribution. In today's presentation, we're going to be going through sales and order management from the perspective of a distributor's sales rep. Leading us through today's presentation will be Mike, a sales rep for Progressive Supply. Progressive is a distributor that carries many product lines across multiple locations in North America. Today's agenda, Mike will take you on a tour of the distribution suite from the point of the view of a sales rep. This will include real-time visibility to appointment details, large customer orders needing attention, and expiring quotes that should be prioritized. Today, like every day, Mike's going to stop for a cup of coffee on his way to work. It's at this point while he's waiting in line that he loves to log in to his Infor mobile app and check what awaits him when he gets to his desk. Right from his phone, he can see what alerts and tasks or even conversations might be out there for him. Right away, as Mike goes in and takes a look at the alerts, he can see there's a number of large orders out there for his customers that he might want to follow up on. He's going to go ahead and assign that first order to himself so that he makes sure in the, when he gets to the office, he does do that, that follow-up. The other thing Mike likes to do is take a look at any tasks or activities that have been assigned to him. In this case, he can see there are a couple of quotes out there for Apex Coil Contractor that are about to expire. This first quote is for 60 bucks. It's a small quote, but all quotes count. He knows that Ray uh, Tolentino has a great relationship with Apex Coil, so he's going to go ahead and assign, uh, assign that to Ray to follow up. But the larger quote for about 1500 bucks, Mike wants to follow up on himself. So he'll go, up, go ahead and assign that to himself, and again, when he gets to the office, make sure that he follows up and tries to convert that quote to an order. The last thing he takes a look at is any conversations that may have been updated or started. In this case, he can see that Ray sent him a message asking him to follow up on a large order. Again, when he gets to the office, he'll take a look and respond to Ray. Finally, Mike gets to the office and sits down at his desk. He logs into his Cloud Suite distribution solution, and the first thing he's presented with is his home page or dashboard that allows him to prioritize those activities and conversations that are going to be critical to a successful day. The first thing Mike notices on his calendar on the right here is that he has a lunch meeting with John from Abbott Limited. Uh, he remembered about this meeting, but he, before he goes in, he wants to make sure he's, he's prepared and understands what we've been doing with John and specifically with Abbott over the course of the last few months. So right from here on his home page, he can click and drill down into the details of that meeting. Specifically, he may want to drill into John Abbott, the contact, or he may want to look at some of the details with regards to Abbott Limited, the account. In this case, he's going to go ahead and drill right into the account and look for some more details about that account. He can see where the account's located, any important information from a contact perspective, what industry they're in, but more specifically, Mike's looking for you know previous activities with regards to this particular account. So he can jump right in and again, drill down into more details, specifically in this case, let me see the historical activities for Abbott Limited. As we drill into those activities, we can see that we've done several demonstrations over the course of the last month or so. But prior to that, it had been a while since we had any contact with this particular account. So this lunch meeting is going to be important in getting that, getting that relationship back on track. Mike feels comfortable, comfortable that he's prepared for the meeting today with John at lunch, so he's going to move on to some of his other priorities. Remember those alerts and tasks that we saw on the mobile device while we were waiting for coffee? Well, here's that same information that we were presented on our mobile phone. In this case, we can see those large orders that are sitting out there. Right away, Mike want to go take, might want to go take a look at that order, or really maybe more specifically, just wants to follow that transaction so that he's notified anytime there's a change uh, or progress with that particular transaction. Again, we can see that I, Mike started following that sales order, and he'll be notified when there are changes, whether it's changes to the order itself, materials been shipped, or we invoice the customer can also see that conversation or the post that Ray had put out there asking Mike to follow up. So in this case, he's going to go ahead and jump into that post. Can you please take a look at this order and see if you can follow up? Well, right away, I want to know the details of this particular transaction. And I can either drill from here right into the customer themselves or into the order right within Cloud Suite Distribution. 
Here I can see some header information with regards to this order. I might want to look at some of the totals detail, and I can see that this is a significant order. So right away, I do know that, yes, I need to follow up on this. Mike's going to jump back, and he's going to reply to Ray, letting him know that he'll follow up today. The next thing Mike's going to take a look at is the fact that he's got a couple of quotes out there that are set to expire. He can see that $60 quote that he asked Ray to follow up on, and he can also see that $1,500 quote for Apex Coil that he's, uh, he decided to take, uh, to take action on. Again, he's going to come in, take a look at the details, but more importantly, drill right down to that quote transaction so that we can follow up and hopefully convert this quote to an order. As Mike scrolls through the detail of the quote, he notices that the contact person at the customer is somebody named Chris Morris. So he's going to pick up the phone and give Chris a call. Mike can easily access uh, Chris's contact information through the contextual contacts application on the right side of the screen. So he's got his phone number. He's ready to pick up the phone and give Chris a call. While Mike's making that call to Chris, he's going to go ahead and call up that quote in maintenance mode so that he's ready to go ahead and either convert that quote to an order or hopefully add line items to the quote before he converts it to an order to increase the overall value of the transaction. So we've got the quote up in maintenance mode and we get Chris on the phone. First thing we might want to do is just go ahead and take a look at the line items or item or items that were on the original quote and what we were quoting. We also may want to take a quick look at any notes, any comments, any conversations specific to this particular quote or sales orders. Those are easily viewed in the, in the notes contextual app on the right hand side. While we've got Chris on the phone, he says, yeah, let's go ahead and convert that quote to an order. But while I got you, there's a couple of other things I need. So right away, we know uh, Chris is looking for some, uh, some, some, uh, some equipment some tools, specifically some saws. So Mike's going to go ahead and just do his easy search methodology. He's going to pull up the saws that he's got uh, based on that search criteria and just go through the list. So Chris was looking for that 12 inch hand saw. He doesn't need a case, but he was looking for a band saw and he was also looking for that 10 inch uh, industrial circular saw. So Mike can go right through those search results, add the quantities of the line items he needs, and quickly drop them onto the order. The next thing Chris was looking for was uh, some documentation uh, on one of those saws. We're going to go ahead and add that 10 inch circular saw to the order and we're going to go over to the right into our contextual applications and look at some of the related information. Uh, not necessarily the parts list but the owner manual was what Chris was looking for. So right here uh, I can see this contextually sensitive document management tool presenting me with the operator's manual for this 10 inch circular saw. I can quickly click on that, pull it up and then print it, send it off to Chris or save it to my file. We asked Chris if he's looking for anything else. He said he thinks that's it, should be good to go. One more time, we can review, uh, we can review the line list. Uh, just clear that line and review the line list. Make sure we've got everything on this order that we need before we finalize the, that sales order. So as you can see, in this day in the life presentation, we've shown Clear, detailed, and easily accessible information contributes to decisions that impact the entire company. Functionality available in CloudSuite distribution helps those in sales become more effective in their role. Tools like real-time exception-based notifications, easily accessible detail, and visibility across the organization. It's these strong tools and better information that lead to higher sales and a more effective sales team.